Hey, what's good everyone? Starting a vlog a little bit differently this time. I'm out here in the Portland Meadows for my first time ever. Her is a great poker room, so I wanted to come check it out and kind of switch it up for you guys for a little bit. But I'm not sure what kind of games they have. Go check out their lower stakes game, but all right, wish me luck. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Today, I go play at the Portland Meadows Poker Room for my first time ever. I play 1-3 no limit and buy in for the max $400. I get my chips and head to the table. Alright, got my first autograph. Alright, I got Krista out here on the vlog. She won my first signature. Very first person to ask. Very lovely dealer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, take care. <laughs> Starting off the session, a few players limp in and I look down at King Jack of Clubs and raise it to $16. Four players call and we go five ways to a flop. The flop's a pretty good one. Queen King 5 all off suit and I have top pair with a solid kicker. Other than someone having King Queen, my top pair should be good here. Because if someone had Ace King or Ace Queen, they probably would have 3-bet at me pre-flop. When action checks with me, I bet out $28. Two players call, and we go three ways to a turn. The turn is not the best, a queen of spades. And now with two opponents, I definitely could put one of them on a queen X kind of hand. Action checks to me, and I'm not falling for their trap. I check being in position, and we go to a river. The river is even worse. The five of hearts now double pairing the board. And if someone call me down light on the flop with a hand like ace five or four five, they just boat it up. This time, C8 leaves out for $50, which seems like a value bet. C9 folds, and I fold as well. Man, not how I wanted to start off my first session here at the Meadows, but moving on. This next hand, the player to my right opens it up to $6, and I look down at King 10 of spades and raise it to 15. Looking back, my 3 bet was way too small here, and I probably should have sized up to about $25. Three players call, and we go four ways to a flop. The flop is deuce 10 4 with 2 diamonds, and I flop top pair with a backdoor flush draw. Action checks to me, and I bet out $20. Two players fold, and then the player to my right raises the 45. This is the same player that opened pre flop $6, so I'm only putting him on a limit to the hands, so maybe a set of deuces or a flush draw. I just make the call, and we go heads up to a turn. The turn is a 6 of spades, now giving me the backdoor flush draw. He leaves out this time for $58. Now, this is where I contemplate about raising him all in or not. Again, I put him on a set or a flush draw. If he had a set, he's snap calling. And if he's on a flush draw, if he misses on the river, I want to give him a chance to bluff at it. So I decide just to make the flat call being in position. The river is the worst river you can ask for. The king of diamonds now bring in the front door flush, and of course it would improve my hand to top two pair. My opponent bets out $135, only leaving him like $40 behind. Not gonna lie, that really threw me off. Like, why don't you just go all in? Are you trying to save some gas money in case I call? Damn. He was looking hella nervous too, probably just playing Hollywood. Well, my read was a set of deuces or a flush draw, so I'm no good here either way. So, easy foe, right? I tanked for about 30 seconds. Knowing I'm never really good here, so what do I do? I make the crying call, and what do you know? My opponent shows ace 4 diamonds for the nuts and river to flush. Why do I always do this to myself? Click the damn fold button, Robinson. Ay uh, I seriously need to go with my instincts. I was going to push all in on the turn, which in my opinion was the best play, and definitely could have made the fold on the river. I don't know why, but him leaving so little behind, it really did throw me off. But I gotta make that fold. This is all about the process of learning, getting better, and really just trusting my instincts. Nice hand, nice hand, but I do, man. Not too much longer, I pick up ace 9 offsuit in the big blind. A couple players limp in, and I check. We go four ways to a flop, which is ace 3 8 with two diamonds. When action checks on me, I don't expect my opponents to have an ace in their hand, especially in a limp pot, and I have one of the aces. So I check. Seat 9 bets out $5, and when action's back on me, 
I mid click at the 10. Such a small pot, I was really just having fun with it. Under the gun calls, I sold a seat 9 and we go 3 ways to a turn. The turn is a 3 of clubs and with a limped in pot, someone could have a 3 in their hand. First action's on me and I decide to check and so does the other 2 players. The river is a 4 of clubs which brings in the backdoor flush. I lead out for $10, trying to get value with top pair and really just trying to target a pair of 8s. Only the player to my left calls. We show our cards and we're good. And we take down the first pot of the night. Small pot, but I'll take it. A few hands later, I look down at 8-9 offsuit and seat 9 raises $6. I just make the call along with two other players and we go four ways to a flop. Honestly, looking back here now, I hate the way I'm playing here this session. I'm playing way too passive and I was just trying to get a feel of the table. But I shouldn't be limping in here and should have 3 bet at pre-flop if I'm gonna play a hand like 8-9 offsuit. The flop is not too bad. 6-5-6 six, six with 2 clubs and I need a 7 for a cutter straight. Action checks all around and the turn is a 5 of spades, now double pairing the board. Action checks through again and the river is a 9 of spades, now giving me a bigger 2 pair. Action checks to me and I bet $15 trying to target a hero call with ace high. Only the button calls. I show my cards and we're good. The button shows 9-4 for 2 pair and my 8 kicker plays. Alright, another small one but again, I'll take it. Last hand of the night and you know what that means. Yup, double board bomb pot time. The flop on the top board is ace 3 8 all off suit and the bottom board is 9 deuce 5 all off suit and I flopped 2 sets on the bottom board. Top set and bottom set. I would flop two sets on one board. That's how these double board bomb pots have been going for me lately. Action checks all the way to me and I bet out $20. Four players call and we go five ways to a turn. The turn on the top board is a three of clubs and the bottom board is a ten of clubs. I now have trip threes on top and I'm only losing the pocket tens now on the bottom. I don't have much behind so I rip it all in for $84. Only one player calls and we go heads up to a river. The river on the top board is a 7 of clubs, and the river on the bottom board is a jack of diamonds, now completing some straight draws. My opponent quickly flips over his hand, which is never a good sign, and shows 3-7 for a full house on top, and king-queen for a river straight on bottom. Surprise surprise mother- <sighs> I think I'm just gonna sit out these bomb pots for now on. I uh... And just like that, I get stacked and call it a night. I played so bad this session, and it doesn't help that I didn't run good either. The only positive thing I can say about this session is that I'm going to continue to learn from these spots and get better. I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes from watching these vlogs and certain spots and positions. GG. Alright, just got done with the session. About to do the walk of shame right here. Man, if you've been following along, the last few poker vlogs... Those double board bomb pots, man, they, that bad luck, it's just been chasing me. Even when I go to a new poker room, it still follows me. But you know, it's my first time at Portland Meadows and I really like the vibes. The dealers and the staff was very friendly. And just overall, I had a good experience. I would definitely come back to this place, even though I ran really bad. I mean, I played like less than 30 minutes. I made a bad call with that King 10. I knew he had to flush on the river. Man, I just hate folding. Such a bad call. And then, of course, a double board bomb pot. He got there on both rivers. Of course, of course, but... But on the bright side, I got recognized and actually got asked for my autograph for my first time ever. I don't know how I feel about that, but that was pretty cool. So, I guess I'm on my way up. But I was in for the game for 400 and out for zero. So thanks for watching and see you on the river. Just not tonight.